Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to get music on your iMovie. So it probably means that you already have iMovie installed. Now I did make a pretty easy video. It didn't take too much time to make something like this. So as long as you already have your video pre-installed, there's actually two different, there's actually more than two different ways, but there are two main ways in how to actually get music onto your specific iMovie video that you're doing. So the first thing you want to do is click that plus button up here and you'll be presented in this different menu. Now you can actually see the little audio button right here. So what you can do is click here. And if you already have your music on your iPhone in a way of just like, you know, it's in your iTunes library or Apple Music, whatever, you can go and click my music right here and you can go and search for the specific song that you want. Now, this would, you know, require a little bit of research and you already having your songs on your phone. So that is the probably the main way to do it for a lot of you. But if you're in a position where you don't have any music on your account, and you actually want to get the songs right now and get them from wherever and put them in your video just for temporary reasons or whatever well you can actually do this pretty easily so you want to make your way over to youtube and and or any streaming platform you know if it's music or whatever it doesn't matter and you just want to search for the specific song that you're wanting now you will actually screen record your specific song that you're trying to do i know it sounds crazy but just bear with me so make sure you have that toggle the screen recording toggle from the control center so in this case i'll go ahead and just play some random song that i made a while ago so i'll do this one now as you can see it's playing the song and I'll go ahead and click here, I'll go and screen record it. Now you want to make sure before you screen record that the microphone is on. As you can see it's off, you want to make sure the microphone is on and you want to start recording. And once it's recording it'll probably dim down the volume a lot and you'll barely be able to hear it but you want to make sure the microphone is able to hear it so you probably don't want to talk like how I'm talking right now. You probably don't want to do that while you're recording it. Audio recorded all the whole entire thing. What you want to do is click up here to stop it, click stop again, you can go and pause the video. <laughs> Now again, if you're going to be doing this for random videos and random songs and you want to upload them on YouTube, you want to be careful, you don't want to get a copyright strike, you want to download audio that you legally own, so remember that, I'm trying to protect you guys there. So once you have that recorded, you want to make your way back to iMovie, you want to click that plus button up here, you want to find a video, you want to click recently added, and you want to find the specific thing that we just made, and as you can see it's right here. So we can go ahead and click that, go ahead and click the add button. As you can see, it'll add it right in the beginning, which is really cool. So you can go ahead and play it and you'll be able to hear it actually. As you can see, it's playing the song. Now you're going to hear me talking over it. Now what you want to do here is you want to click on this. You'll see that little detach button right here. You want to click detach. Now the audio will be detached from the actual video itself, which is really cool. And this is exactly what you want. You probably want the audio to be over this specific video, not necessarily this. So you want to go ahead and drag the specific audio over into this specific area. Now if it's bleeding over it's okay we can fix that later but what you want to do here now is you want to delete this original the video that we had so you want to click here you want to click that delete button and we can go ahead and drag this specific audio to the beginning of this video so now the audio will actually be over playing on this video which is really awesome so you can fast forward you can go back and, and as you can see if this is what you want then it works out I guess but again it would be better if I took a little bit more time into it but that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.